So as you might remember, a few weeks back I made a Korean trying finished snacks video, which you can see from here. And today I am going to be doing the reverse. So Finn tries Korean snacks. And before we get started, I want to know if any of you guys have tried any Korean snacks before, and if so, what were they? So leave them in the comments below. And as I am currently in Finland, and I would have absolutely no clue how to go about finding Korean snacks, so a company called Snack Fever helped a girl out, and they actually sent me a box of their their Korean snack goodies like so and if you like me want to try some Korean snacks I actually have some discount code which you can either find in the description box or you can wait till the end of the video I'll talk about them a bit more then but I am hungry right now so let's open the box and see what there actually is so yeah let's see I don't have a table so this might be a bit I, it's like a pizza box but Ooh. I actually sneaked a look in here already and I posted it on my snapchat maybe some of you saw and I'm pretty sure this is the original size box, just if you guys are curious about it. Okay, so first of all, what I initially noticed was there's no like um, description pamphlet. So you actually don't know what exactly you're getting. And me being vegetarian, I have to be a bit more careful about what I actually eat. So I did send the ingredients list to some of my Korean friends and they told me, for example, which of these have gelatin, which don't, and which of them are safe to eat. Actually. Quite a few of them did end up having gelatin. But yeah, most of these are safe for me to eat, so let's start with these ones. It has like a picture of a wheat on it and it looks like popcorn, so I'm guessing it's some kind of wheat popcorn-ish snack. I'm not, I actually have no idea, so don't take my word for it. So yeah, it's... You know what it tastes like? You know in the US they have like those bugles where it's like those triangular kind of like hat shaped snacks? It tastes exactly like that, in my opinion. It's like a bugle, a Korean bugle. Oh my goodness, are you okay, Sid? So next up we have something that looks like sunflower seeds dripped in chocolate. Um, hebaragi, hebaragi, which means sunflower, I think. So, Apparently my friend said this has gelatin in it, which I feel like is a bit strange since I think there's supposed to just be sunflower seeds with chocolate. I'll, so I won't eat them. Maybe it's like the, co oh, just went all over the floor. I think it might like be the coating on it or something. I'm not sure, but I'll have my sister give that a go. What is that? Let's see. Oops. <laughs> Same mistakes. It's sunflower seeds, but it tastes like M&M's. Ooh, M&M's. Exactly like M&M's. Cause it's like a chocolate covered. Oh, are these chocolate covered? Yeah. Uh huh. Did you not take a look before you put it in your mouth? No, I just thought they were brown. <laughs> so next up we have this um, package that looks like some kind of honey snack. They actually have the ingredients pasted on in English, which I'm really happy about. Um, it says it's a snack baked potato flavor, so I'm not I thought it was honey But apparently it's baked potato. I'm not quite so you open it up like this and you get a package that looks like this So let's see what this I have no idea what this could be Oh, they're actually sticks and it smells like an oven baked potato. That's really really bizarre like it smells like if you've baked a potato in the oven and you open the oven door, this is that's how it smells like. And it just looks like a pretzel stick. That's so strange. Kind of chippish, but in a pretzel form and with a quite strong potato flavor. These are really good. That's so weird. I've never just tasted anything like this before. These are really good, I like this. Mmm. It's like a, kind of like Pringles, but in a pretzel form. Wow, that's so strange. All right, and then there's something that I've been looking forward to trying, this kind of, what does it say? Oh, oh which way is it? This way. Boto ring. So some kind of butter cookie. And these, it says it's a premium cookie. So putu. So, so is it supposed to be like a soft, premium quality butter cookie? I don't know, but let's try, I'm excited. So these are what it looks like. It actually looks like 
finished cookies. Like some finished cookies look quite similar. It's not actually soft, it's hard. It's like a very plain flavored biscuit. Yeah, like what I would call like an original flavor, kind of like, it's not like hard, hard. It's like a bit pillowy. <laughs> Mm, mm. Thumbs up for those. Those are really good. I would definitely eat all of those if I did. Okay, I understand where the soft comes from. It's not like a squishy soft, but it's like when you bite into it, it's not like it's not like a hard cookie like that. I'm sorry, I suck at explaining. And then something I've been looking forward to: the pepero sticks. Pepero. So I remember when it was pepero day, and actually my Korean friend she was making her own pepero sticks, and I was helping her. And I think there's some photos here, but it was so much fun and I've actually tried my friend bought me the White cookie that was kind of like Oreo flavored and the almond the almond one. They're so good I really like pepper sticks. Oh my gosh, and this flavor is the dark dark the dark chocolate flavor So I'm really oh I know already I'm gonna love this. So yeah, basically what a pepper stick is It's just like a kind of again like a pretzel and then it's usually coated with some kind of flavor on top. This looks like it's been just dipped, you know, in dark chocolate. And it tastes heavenly. It's like a dark chocolate pretzel stick dipped in dark chocolate. It has a very, very strong dark cho chocolate taste. So yeah, next up there was some of these smaller little candies. They feel hard and not sure what the flavor is. It says Nurungchi. Fried rice? Fried rice flavor, that's strange. <laughs> Interesting, let's try it out. Yeah, it's like a white heart candy like that. It tastes like rice. This is so weird, it's like these ones. They smell like real oven baked potatoes. And then now this tastes like actual rice. A bit milky too, it's kind of like, you know, the rice milk a bit it has a bit of a similar no it tastes like rice like you wouldn't imagine like your favorite candy being like a rice candy but this is actually really good flavor is very unique nothing I have ever tried before mm. okay and then there's two candies um there's like a peach a peach flavored candy and a tropical tropical flavor oh I wonder if it's candy or not. They're, they're like trying to get like your portion size be small or it's good for sharing do you think that's gum <laughs> oh my it's God. really hard it's so hard I can't I mean it's fine tasting it's just really I don't understand what I'm supposed to do with it it's like they would give you something at the dentist like some sort of reward. Oh, um, maybe this is gum. Is it? I don't know. Does it does it chew like gum? No. Can <laughs> read that? My chew. So chew. My chew. <laughs> but now it's kind of like melting. But this is suspicious. I want to swallow it. It's trop tropical flavor. <laughs> Throw the trash on the floor. <laughs> it's how I always open presents. The world. Oh. Uh -huh. Yeah, this is exactly the same thing. It even looks the same. Yeah, the other one was better. This is too lemony, and I don't like lemons. Lemons. Yeah. And then for the drink. I am a bit scared to open this. I hope it doesn't like spray all over the room. It says cocoa grape flavored. Again, it has the ingredients in English, which is good for me. So yeah, let's see how this tastes like. I, is it like coconut and grapes mixed together? That's... Okay, so it's not so fizzy, so it did squirt everywhere. Cause I mean, this came from California to Finland. I was like, Mm, it smells like, well, you know, the U.S. brand Welch's, is that Welch? Wel Welch's grape soda. But it's meant to be like a fusion of grape and coconut. No, I don't really taste the coconut, unless, there's like, I can see chunks on the bottom. I don't know if that's meant to be like coconut chunks. Oh yeah, it says contains coconut jelly. So like the jellies in here, it says 
yeah it tastes grape soda and i think the coconut bits on the bottom like it has like floating like actual pieces of jelly because i remember the uh, grape the pong 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 <laughs> the other grape soda i've tried before it had like actual grape pieces in it so yeah i think it's the similar idea with the coconut bits so yeah i it's good i love grape soda so this is good so yeah, it also came with a big packet of um instant noodles but i will not be making these but just to let you know it did come with one of these and then two packets of these kinds of some kind of cookie thing um there's nothing really on the label yeah it's just like a kind of like a waffle waffle looking chocolate thing i'm not gonna try this because i have a feeling it's gonna have some kind of marshmallow inside which isn't vegetarian all right so that was all of the snack and definitely if you're curious about korean snacks and maybe want to try some yourself definitely check out the coupon codes that they provided me which is basically sorry i'm just gonna read this a 10 percent off your first original box with the code catchats 10 or you can get also a 10% off your first deluxe box, which is an even bigger size box, with the code CATCHATS10DLX. Again, I'll leave that in the description box below. I think my favorite has got to be, I really love the Papero sticks. Those are like a classic of mine. But yeah, this was definitely something really unique and something I really liked. Like these were really good. Like it looks so plain and boring, but it, when you bite in it, it's so interesting. It's like, don't judge a book by its cover because this, this thing tastes really good. But yeah, that was me trying Korean snacks. Hopefully you liked the video and I guess that just about concludes this video. So till next time.